私の話聞いてたサンサンジさんがサンEveryone, what's going on? Lukman here. Welcome back to the channel. So finally, now we got our first step up character with Whole Cake Island 2 campaign, and the step up character is Pudding. Okay, Pudding with Sanji. So let's take a look at her. All right. So are we gonna get Whole Cake Island Scout 3? Featuring what, Jimbe? I don't know, but okay, this is the first skill, and this is the second skill. Looks like a recycle one. I mean, okay, this skill is okay, the new. The second skill though is the Sanji skill, like literally Sanji skill. Hmm, okay, how about the character details? <clears throat> okay, she's an attacker, a red attacker. HP and attack quite high. Defense is quite high as well, 2.1. And she's pretty cute with Sanji. Okay, trait. Increase cooldown time of... Oh, just by attacking an enemy? Oh, skill 1. Okay. <laughs> skill 1. Increase the cooldown time of enemy skill by 30%. Okay, able to move during normal attack. Yeah, this is a, no a new thing. A new normal thing now. Able to move during a normal attack. When attacking an enemy in the area around enemy's treasure, increase damage. Strength more than 70%, increase normal attack damage. This is a, a thing as well for now. This thing is not new anymore. 50% though for a step up character. Wow, she can be deadly. And reduce damage, damage reduction, okay. So HP recovery by using skill 2, the Sanji skill. And you're down, reduce cooldown time skill 2. Okay, so this increased normal attack damage by 50% is gonna be really useful, especially when you just spam your normal attack on this flying mat. <laughs> She's, she can be annoying. I don't know. Yeah, especially when she can move during normal attack. Yeah. So, first skill added. Yeah, so uh, inflict added a new status effect. Okay, Im immobilize. So, you just can't move. Okay. Mm, this one, tremor effect. Tremor and immobilize. So, I I'm really interested to see how edit effect happens. Yeah, so you just like immobilize any character. Hmm, well, let's give this a try. Let's just summon. And let's see how many copies of... Uh, Pudding, can I get? Hmm, looks like a uh, shaft. Oh, I got shafted in the first one. <laughs> Brook. Alright, so let's go for the. Oh, what's that? Let's go for the second one. Oh! Okay, here we go. Hmm, so added is a new thing. But the skill, the second skill, I. I'm so not satisfied, like, they just recycle the skill. But I think the move to the back thing is, I mean, since only Sanji moves forward, so you don't take damage? I don't know. Growth number 27, the word pull is white. Should I skip this step? So putting is uh, red to attack. Okay, we got our first 4 star! Oh, oh, oh it's, I thought it's Luffy. It's, it's Ace. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the only interesting thing about Pudding, I think, is the normal attack and the trait where she gets 50% increased attack for the normal attack. So that's quite interesting. Okay, so. This one is 4 star character guaranteed. Well, at least for the second step, we got a 4 star, so that's not bad. Because yeah, I think we can just skip the first part because we already know that we're gonna get a 4 star. So we're looking for attacker's flag. Attacker's flag. Where are you? Snake man especially. Alright, this should be... Oh, not yet. 
This should be it. Oh, Defender's Flag. Frankie's. Oh. <laughs> the old one. Okay. So, alright. Frankie, Frankie gets to 5 star. Alright. Okay, so. Bismillah. The fourth pull, and then we're gonna get Brooke or Nami from the black ticket. Okay. Looks good. Good number 32. I can't wait to test her out. I mean, I do wonder, what do you guys think would come for the next step up? Oh, we got her! Oh! Oh my god! She's quite cute, Sanji! San oh my god, yes, I do remember that. She always uh, says it like that. Sanji! San? Okay, that's quite cute. Are we gonna get another? Yes! Oh, uh, alright. Brook, oh not Brook, Rouge. So we got our first copy of uh, Pudding here. And we're gonna get... Yes, we got our black ticket. Now this one... We're gonna get our... Uh, another copy of uh, Pudding. Can we get two copies from here? I mean... It's... Not easy to get two copies from just a single pull. You gotta be lucky for that, but we'll see. I guess there we go! Sir? <laughs> I guess that's that. Alright, so two copies of pudding. Now I'm down to 120 gem 129 gem. So it's just an attacker, Permicia, of course, power you this new world, Charlotte family. Okay, this is something new. Charlotte family. Alright, okay. So uh, let's give it a try. <laughs> Alright, normal attack. Oh, pretty quick. Pretty cute. Okay, the range is pretty good. How mobile? Okay, pretty nice. Second skill. Oh, okay. Second skill is good. I mean, you go... You go to the back when you use the skill. So you can avoid getting attacked. So that's pretty nice. Okay, first skill. Wait, I think I should just kill everyone first because they can easily be killed. We want to see the edit effect. So. So what is edit effect? Oh, so that's the edit effect. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Oh. Where am I aiming at? Oh, we forgot to... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's the tremor effect. Okay, I want to try out the first skill. Oh my god. How can you just easily lose your target? Is that how you pronounce it? Okay, I want to see... How long range, how long the range is for the first skill. Oh, look at that, the tremor, of course, that's just, that's just a tremor. Okay, the scale. Okay, um, that's an acceptable range, but I missed, I didn't hit. And then now we can use this skill. Okay, so that's quite a long range. Alright, now let's discuss about pudding real quick. So, let's take a look at her skill animation first. Okay, this is the first skill. First skill, mm, you don't have knockback effects, sadly. So you, you, you can't stop Odin from capturing flat. You can't cancel Roger's skill too. 
So yeah, that's the only thing about her first skill, but at least you give like the added status effect, right? Plus it's a long range charge attack, so a long range charge attack is always good. Okay, and now the second skill which is this one, you see how she backs away after she sends Sanji to attack that can give tremor effect, right? So I think that second skill can be used to like avoid from getting hit by Akainu's second skill initial hit, like the first hit. Like imagine when Akainu is just starting to use the second skill, she just, she? What? He, he just like uh, give a magma all around him right so you can use your second skill if you use if you have pudding you can use the second skill to just back away avoid getting hit by that magma at the beginning right and then you get hp recovery as well 15 percent so mm, that's another way to use it <laughs> because she backs away and then yeah you back away you just run away from akainu while i know and then if you want to go back closer you can use your normal attack but keep a safe distance while shooting so that's the way you like uh, remove the invincibility from Akainu so yeah able to move during normal attack normal attack because she can move quite smooth quite fast very swift so I think this is the trait where she is meant to uh, counter Akainu kinda kinda she's kinda a counter to Akainu when she can move during normal attack the normal attack is actually mid-range and she can move quite fast as well so and then she increased cooldown time of enemy skill by 30 percent that's actually quite a lot i mean you can like um, make akainu have to wait longer before he can use the mag max skill again <laughs> then this one normal attack damage increased by 50 percent so what this means is that you don't need to rely on your skill anymore. You can even rely on your normal attack while moving away from your enemy while shooting at them to kill them. Yeah, you just need more than 70% of your HP, of your strength. So yeah, in conclusion, she is... Um, she's not too bad, not too good. She's okay if you want to summon for her. I mean, I think there would be no regret summoning for her because she's on she's an okay character and you just need to be careful so it's not she's not an easy character to use okay i think especially when you, when you in term of countering a kainu she is not an easy character to use but in term of fighting other character especially when she can move around while using normal attack she can be really good at that i mean she can be really good at annoying people at killing people because she's an attacker she has 50% increased damage that just in her normal attack. So yeah. Then the edit effect, the tremor effect can be used as well. So she is an okay character to summon. But personally, I would say maybe wait. Wait, I don't know. Wait for the next bounty festival. Wait for the next second step up. Who knows if it's gonna be Jinbei with better and more interesting skills and traits. Or just wait for the next bounty festival. Who knows if it will be Jack and Queen or Osobamas and Zoro or Yamato and I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, there are still more interesting characters yet to come. And then third year anniversary is coming in end of January 2022. Not far away anymore. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's kind of that's kind of it, guys, for the video. Thanks for watching. Take care and. Bye-bye. <laughs>